Today I show you how to use the preview app to create PDF documents, open PDF documents, even you can annotate, you can edit PDF documents on your iPhone. This is iOS 26 on iPhone 16 Pro Max and this is a beta version, it's not yet available to the public but I'm testing it for you so you see how it looks like. I just opened the preview app so you have now the preview app and you can open recent documents or you can browse you can open the recent documents or browse them or you can even take a picture you can make a new document so i have here the license booklet from the davinci resolve studio and there is some interesting text here and i want to try this preview so you can either make a new empty image like start from scratch or you can use the picture from a camera from the camera so I could, I could try to take a photo. Okay, so it's doing it by itself. Let's see, it's so it's going to it's going to recognize the actual text orientation, and it's going to straighten the text for you. Okay, this here it's a bit blurry on top there because it wasn't straight. But okay, this one, this one looks okay. So, yeah, I could send this, for example. So, okay, so this is a document and I could have, I could select the text. This is a, a feature of uh, iOS where you can just select text on the images. I can use I can use it to crop so you can adjust the cropping points and also do rotation. Okay, so I saved it. Okay, so this one I don't select. Maybe I could retake, I could delete one. So I could delete this one, I don't need it. And maybe the first one also. So I only keep one. I only keep one now. And now I can save this. And I have a scanned document in. Now I have a scanned document in preview like that. And I could do selection. I could do annotations. For example, I could use the pen write something or erase it and use the highlighter so i'm not very good at this but for example i could highlight this photo here at if i could change the color could do something like that highlight this one the text here so you can really use it to create a, a note make notes on documents on any documents really this has the default name of scan document, but I could rename it. I could call it something else. Test. And from here I could do an export. And I could export this document as a high efficiency image codec Hake file or a PDF file. So this, the each format has its own settings. So PDF is going to be very, very easy to export. You can create PDFA, so it's archive compatible, easy to open with any device. So I can create now the PDF, done. And that's a test PDF. And I'm saving it. Replace existing items, replace. Okay, so now if I go into my files, Go into files, browse here, see the iCloud drive. What is it? And I see here there's one file for preview and the test, test file. What is it? I think it's still loading or I don't know, doing something. OK, 
Okay, so... Okay, I have my... I don't know what happened here. Okay, so the file is here, but... I could make a new file. I don't know, something happened to this file. It uh, doesn't work. Something happened to it. So I could make a new empty image and write something on it. Good. Okay, I would write okay there. And then... Okay, I'm finished. This is the untitled PNG. So it's saved as a PNG and I could I could open I could export it so I can export it as PDF A maybe the PDF A option was not good and saving it So now I have the untitled PNG and untitled PDF and that's a PDF document and on the PDF document itself, I can also add more, more annotations. Okay, and back. And you see it's already saved there. So it's a really nice way to be able to save, annotate PDF documents, export PDF documents, even create PDF documents from, from the, okay, keep scan. So that's a scan here, and I can save this one. It's going to turn it into a scan, like a scan document. Okay. So I have scan document PDF here. So I'll try now, I'll try to make a new photo with the Black Magic license. License information, I just took a picture here. It's doing it by itself. When it finds the orientation, so I have this is the information here, and I'm okay with it. Save it, and it's gonna show as a scan document. So it's already here as a PDF, it's two megabytes. If you see the size, it's a bit bigger because it's a photo, but it's really quick and it's doing it by itself and it's straightening the image. It's straightening, it's straightening the image really well, so it's really like a scanner in your pocket where you can scan a utility bill or any document like this. It will automatically adjust the orientation. I hope this helps you scan and share PDF documents, create images and documents in general. This is a great way when you need to scan and send documents. Instead of using a scanner, a printer scanner, you can use your phone to take a photo of a document and then you can share it as a PDF. PDF document. Use the preview app. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.